In this class, we will discuss about Biot-Savart law. Biot-Savart law is used to find the magnetic field intensity at any point in space. As we all know that, let's say that if I have a current carrying conductor, this current can be either a DC current or an AC current, there will be a magnetic field lines and this magnetic field line will be a concentric rings. What Biot-Savart said is, Let's say that if I have a current carrying conductor, the current flowing through its I and if I want to find the magnetic field intensity at any point in a space, let me take this as a point. So we have to take because the magnetic field intensity at point P, let me call as point P, because of a small length of the current carrying element, let me call that as DL. So we are going to connect these two. So what he said is the magnetic field intensity at point P because of the small length DL carrying a current I is given by or he said it would be DH would be directly proportional to the current flowing across the small length which is I. DH would be directly proportional to the length what we are talking about the small length which would be nothing but dl the dh would be directly proportional to the sine of the angle between the 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 uh, the angle made by the line which is connecting the point and the wire which comes out to be this a theta so this would be nothing but your sine theta he also said the magnetic field intensity would be inversely proportional to the square of the distance between the, the, the length of the wire and the point. So in this case, this is my length. Let me call that as R12. Let me call the unit vector which is connecting this as AR12. Now, so it would be the, it would be inversely proportional to the square of the distance which would be nothing but 1 by r1 to the whole square it's a distance so if i conclude this we know that if i write an equation i have to write the proportionality constant in this case let's see what is the proportionality constant so dh would be i dl sin theta by r1 to the whole square the proportionality constant was 1 by 4 pi now as you know that when we say magnetic field it should have a direction the direction as as same as electric field the magnetic field will also have a direction how i can find the direction it's very simple i have to point my thumb in the direction of the current and i have to rotate my fingers so if you see observe if I point in direction of current and if I rotate my fingers, it will be kind of a circular, right? So what it says that if I have to find the magnetic field at this point, it will be nothing but you can see it is going inside. So another way is going outside. So what we can observe is magnetic field intensity at this point would be nothing but normal to the plane where it is lying. So this is the board where it is lying. See the magnetic field intensity, the direction would be nothing but normal to the plane and that would be nothing but let me call as a r 1 2 this is an unit vector so what we have concluded is how to find a magnetic field intensity at any point in a space it was a very important discovery where we have concluded about the finding the magnetic field intensity in the next coming lectures we'll see more on this